Some analysts think North Korea might be almost ready to deploy the new weapons it's been testing the past several weeks. Joint military drills by South Korea and the U.S. will be ending tomorrow. So another question is whether that means the North will stop its tests. Oh jang -hee has more. North Korea seems set to deploy new types of short-range projectiles after a series of tests over the past few weeks. On Saturday, the state-run Korean Central News Agency reported that the regime tested a new weapon the previous day, and Kim Jong-un personally oversaw the launch. The report didn't provide any details about the weapon itself, but revealed six photos of it, which showed the same new weapon the regime tested the week prior. The weapon is assessed by military experts as North Korea's version of a t a c u m s a surface-to-surface -surface tactical missile system developed by the U.S. It carries several hundred rounds of submunitions, which can level an area as large as three to four soccer fields. The North's test fire of the new weapon comes in addition to its test of a new guided multiple rocket launcher and a new short-range ballistic missile that resembles Russia's Iskander and has a pull-up maneuver. Pyongyang claims that all the tests were successful, which points to the possibility that deployment of the weapons could be drawing near. North Korea has stressed its recent missile tests are an eye-for-an-eye eye move against the South Korea-U.S. joint military exercises. Over the weekend, it once again emphasized it needs to deploy some, quote, powerful physical means to counter potential threats. But as the Seoul-Washington Combined Command Post training wraps up on Tuesday, eyes fall on whether the North will stop missile testing as well. South Korea's intelligence authorities say the North is carrying out back-to-back -back test firings at this time because it won't be able to once working-level denuclearization talks with the U.S. get underway when the drills are over. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.